This video will show you how to install a gas appliance connector with the addition of an automatic gas safety valve called an excess flow valve. Remember to follow all manufacturer's installation instructions and if you feel uncomfortable at any time with the installation, consult a licensed professional for assistance. Tools and supplies needed for the job are two adjustable wrenches, pipe thread sealant or yellow gas tape, a small brush to apply thread sealant, leak detection solution, wire brush, rag, and a gas appliance connector with the appropriate gas safety valve. Today we are using a brass craft range installation kit complete with the appropriate safety plus appliance connector, excess flow valve, multiple adapters to connect to most appliances, leak detection solution, and pipe thread sealant. As you can see we have removed the old appliance connector. It is extremely important that before beginning any work on the appliance the gas valve must first be shut off at the appliance. If there is no valve at the appliance the gas must be shut off at the main. To bring your installation up to code, a gas ball valve needs to be installed within easy reach less than 6 feet upstream of the appliance. Using the wire brush, clean any excess joint compound or tape from the threads of the gas shutoff valve. Apply pipe thread sealant or yellow gas thread tape to the male threads of the excess flow valve. Remember, thread sealant is only applied to the pipe threads. No sealant should be used on the flare threads of the fittings or inside the nuts of the gas appliance connector itself. Thread the excess flow valve onto the gas ball valve, making sure that the arrows on the gas safety valve are pointing in the direction of intended gas flow. Tighten by hand. Place one wrench on the shutoff valve and wrench tighten the excess flow valve with the second wrench. Next, attach the appliance connector to the excess flow valve. Here, the connection between the appliance itself and the connector has already been completed. Follow manufacturer's instructions for direct installation to the appliance. Hand tighten the connector nut to the gas safety valve. Stabilize the excess flow valve with one wrench and wrench tighten the steel appliance connector nut onto the gas safety valve. It is important to check for leaks at this point. Slowly turn the gas shutoff valve back on by rotating the handle so that the handle lines up with the gas line. Place a generous amount of leak detection solution on all threaded connections. With the leak detection solution in place, check all connections for bubbles. If bubbles are present, immediately close the gas shutoff valve and tighten the appropriate connection. Reopen the shutoff valve and, if necessary, reapply leak detection solution and examine for bubbles once again. Wait at least 10 minutes to be certain that all vapors have dissipated. If leak test confirms that connections do not leak gas and you do not smell any gas, then turn on the appliance. The installation is now complete. 